Hello guys, so today is Thursday. I've been vlogging a bit like here and there, but it's really been all over the place. So I don't know if you've really been able to keep up with what I've been up to recently, but to summarize, I've just been trying to play as many gigs as possible and meet as many new people as possible and just really dive into my music 100%. Um, so I've been spending a lot of time on the computer, you know, contacting people to try and get new gigs and then pretty much every weekend has been quite full on for me. So last weekend I did four gigs. Um, I play at the Teatro 2 Night Market on the Friday, Matakana Market on the Saturday, then I went to the Puhoi Village Market for the first time on the Sunday, and on the Monday I went to the Mission Bay Art and Craft Market, which I believe it's only twice a year but yeah it was really fun and even though the weather was a little bit bad at the beginning of the day on Monday I had some really good feedback and it was just such a good time so like I said now it's Thursday and I'm getting ready for this weekend so tomorrow which is Friday I'm playing at Point Chef where they're gonna have a whole bunch of food trucks and I've played there before and the food is so nice so I generally always get my dinner there I can't help it and then on Saturday I'm playing at an awesome market called Craftsnoon Tea which has like lots of really cool handmade gifts and goodies there's someone who makes like jams and there's rings and bracelets and honestly it's just such a high quality market and it's really cool to be able to support local businesses too and then on Sunday I'm playing at a bar restaurant called The Attic in Mission Bay that's kind of a regular for me I play there about once a month so all of these gigs are four hours long I obviously take breaks but I have to have enough material that'll fill the whole time and I like to not repeat songs so that's why I have such an extensive set list and I've recently converted over to using an iPad instead of an actual folder which I find is just a lot less bulky and it also doesn't turn the pages if it's windy or anything outside so that's really good. So today I'm just kind of catching up on work bits and I wanted to film a video but it is about midday so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it all done, but we'll see. I want to go to the supermarket in a little bit. I haven't had lunch yet, but so far I've been doing emails and I did some yoga too, which was really fun. Uh, I've been doing a 30 day yoga challenge, but I did day 29 today, so tomorrow's the last day, but I really want to keep up with doing it every day or at least like a regular practice. So it's now 20 past 3. I. Oh, my phone's going off. It's now 20 past 3. I did a quick makeup look and I filmed a new cover video. I'm kind of trying to get ahead of myself a little bit. So today is Thursday and I'm trying to upload a cover video every single Wednesday. So if I can kind of get ahead of myself and film and edit a few ahead of time, it means that I'll always have something to upload. I haven't edited it yet, but now I'm going to have a coffee and then I'm going to go to the supermarket and I have netball tonight. So that'll be good. That'll be my exercise for the day, although I have done some yoga today, so I'm not feeling too cooped up.
Hey guys, so today is Friday and it's such a nice day outside that I'm gonna go to the beach for a little bit and then I have a gig later on today. Hey guys, so it's now Monday. I got all my gigs done for the weekend. I really didn't film any of it, which is disappointing, but it was really busy. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting on with some music work today, but I'm gonna go to Tech Puna and meet with one of my friends. Good afternoon guys, so it's now quarter past four and it's Tuesday. Today's kind of just been a recording day, I filmed two videos and I started editing one. So now I've just got a coffee with me and this morning I was just doing a whole bunch of computer work so it was nice to do some guitar practice and get away from that. Um, but yeah, later on I'm planning on going climbing, which I'm really looking forward to because I felt a little bit cooped up over the last couple of days in the house and even though I've been doing my yoga a little bit, uh, I still feel like I need to get out. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It is so hot at the moment and it's a bit weird that I'm having a hot coffee when it's so hot, but I don't know, I'm just not really good at making myself iced coffee, so 
yeah, I'm gonna have that now and kind of get myself organized, I guess. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I got in my Jeffree Star mystery box. I don't wanna show you my address, but this is what the box looks like. It arrived this morning and I didn't open it up on camera because I was just too excited. The boxes were 75 US dollars each for the big deluxe one, which is the one I got. Um, but I ended up having to pay 60 something US dollars worth of shipping, which I thought was pretty steep, but that was the only option it was giving me. Normally there's a shipping option that's like $10 I think, but for some reason it wasn't giving it to me. So there's normally three options and there were only two. I know a lot of people were having issues with the website and I really wanted to grab one because I knew they sold out so quick last time. Uh, so yeah, I just went for it. I woke up at six in the morning or something to buy it and I was just like, you know what? I've told myself I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna go for it. You're still gonna be saving money. And I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Uh, so I'll show you. So some of them are out of the boxes, but in total I got eight items. So the first one I'll show you is this. So this is the Supreme Frost in Frozen Peach. That's what it looks like. And it's a highlighter. This is what it looks like on the inside. So it doesn't really, it's, it's a weird formula because it doesn't look shimmery in the packaging. Oh, you can kind of see it there. But I am actually wearing it at the moment. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It looks really pretty in real life. So yeah, that's the first thing and I was pretty happy with that. I think the shade is really nice. So this is the box for that one. And then the next thing I'll show you is this, which is the Skin Frost. So this is the box. And I was a bit surprised when I opened this one because this one is in the shade Regina George, which is literally a bright pink. <laughs> I can open it. I don't want to ding it with my hand. So this is what it looks like. So um, this is actually what I used on my eyes today. So I don't know if you can see, but on my eyelid, I actually used it like an eyeshadow. I just sprayed my brush with a uh, setting spray and I think it actually turned out pretty nice. I had to layer it up a few times to get the color to be opaque, but I'm kind of okay with that because it's not meant to be an eyeshadow, it's meant to be a highlighter. I don't know if I'd ever use it as a highlighter, maybe if I was doing some kind of artistic look, um, but I still think I can get some use out of it or maybe use it on the body for like dressing up or something. But yeah, it's pretty bright. You can see kind of where I dipped into it with the eyeshadow brush earlier. But yeah, it's it's pretty pink. Okay, the next thing that I got was this lip ammunition. This is the packaging that it came in. So this is in the shade Gargoyle. And I actually put this on earlier and I didn't really like how it looked, but I think that might just be because of the eye makeup that I'm wearing at the moment. But yeah, the packaging is really cool. Obviously it's called lip ammunition, so it looks like a bullet. And yeah, it's really cool. So I'll show you the color. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It kind of matches my bed sheets, which is funny. But it's like a gray, purple kind of color. Definitely pulls very gray though. And yeah, it's like a cream finish. It's not a matte finish. So I found that it kind of needed a little bit of layering up. I think it's just because of the color it is. I think that I like the formula, like it felt really nice, but yeah, it did need a couple of layers to get it really opaque. So I feel like this wouldn't look very good with a colorful look. I feel like you'd need to do this with more of a smoky look. But yeah, I'm hoping I'll get some use out of it. Then the next thing I got was this lip liner and I've never tried one of his lip liners before. I've never tried the lip ammunition either. The only thing I've ever tried is his liquid lipsticks and his Thirsty palette. So yeah, I've got the lip liner here and this is in the shade Calabasas. The lid is really cool, but you can see the shade at the bottom. And yeah, this was the box that it came in. So it looks very similar to the liquid lipstick boxes. And I'll show you what the color looks like. So yeah, it looks like more of a nude in the packaging, 
but actually when I put it on it was quite pink but I think it would be a really nice lip liner if you topped it up with a nude lipstick just to give that like pink throwback underneath uh, yeah I really liked it and I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it and from the formula it felt like it'd be quite long wearing too then this next one is an interesting one I think the red packaging is from a holiday collection I remember him talking about this packaging how it's like holographic so the shade of this one is called self-control and this is what it looks like the packaging is really awesome and this one is like a muted kind of purple color and I reckon this would be really nice to put on the center of another liquid lipstick or another lipstick to kind of lighten it up and give it that more pastel color but all of his liquid lipsticks can be used on the eyes as well. So I reckon this would be really cool um, to do maybe like a liner or some kind of ombre liner even maybe. Yeah, it's really cool. Then the next one is not one that I would wear on my lips probably, but it's called Crocodile Tears. So yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty bold green. It's quite dark, so I feel like this would look really good as an eyeliner. I was actually going to try that today, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time before I go climbing. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really cool color. I'm not sure that I would ever wear it on my lips, but I would really love to wear it on the eyes because I've been really into green at the moment. I bought the Huda Beauty Emerald palette I think that's what it's called which has a whole bunch of green shades because I've been really into green on the eyes so I feel like this would look really cool as like an eyeliner with maybe like a bronzy look or even just with a plain eye or like just a brown through the crease and then this as like a statement liner yeah I think it's a really really cool shade and then the last makeup item is this which is another liquid lipstick and it's in the shade doll parts so I was actually wearing this earlier when I was filming a video. So I put on the Calabasas lip liner and then this over the top. I actually put a gloss over the top of it earlier because my lips were feeling really dry. Um, and not that this formula is really drying, but um, it just didn't look that nice. I need to get one of his lip scrubs. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the shade Doll Parts. And it's a really nice kind of medium pink tone it actually looks lighter on my lips than i thought it would but i really do quite like it for a pink look so yeah that's all of the makeup items and then the last thing that came in the box was this t-shirt which i was wearing earlier and i really like it i really like the color this is the top and it says can't relate and i love the color of it it's like this you know maroon color and I think it went really well with my look earlier when it was all pink. And yeah, I got the size small, uh, which actually does fit sort of big on me. So maybe their sizes pull a little bit larger, but I still think it looks really nice. I just kind of rolled the sleeves up and then tucked it into my shorts. That's why it's a little bit wrinkled. But yeah, I really like it. And it has the Jeffree Star logo up here and then also on the back which I think is really cool. So I definitely think I would wear this out. I don't normally wear t-shirts with a lot of writing, but I do like when they have just like a phrase or one word on them. And I really like the color, so I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy overall with what I got. Like these two shades here, they're quite, you know, different. I wouldn't necessarily pick them, but I feel like I will get a lot of use out of them on my eyes. So I think it worked out to be like 200 New Zealand dollars, which is quite a lot. But for eight items plus the shipping, I feel like that's pretty good because in the past when I've ordered, I think I ordered like two of these liquid lipsticks from his website in the past. I think I paid like a hundred dollars to get it to New Zealand. So to pay 200 and get eight things I think is pretty dang good. Also just the fun of it you know I liked that it was a mystery box and that you didn't know what you were gonna get and 
yeah, it's going to push me out of my comfort zone to use some of these things, but I've already used some of it today. Like, I used the pink highlighter on my eyes, which I never thought I would do. And maybe I will end up using it as a highlighter if I do kind of an artsy look. And it is a Valentine's Day box, so maybe I'll try and do some Valentine's Day looks over the next week. And yeah, that's kind of what inspired the pink today.